Literally last year, she did say that we were going to do Legally Blonde, and now we're not. Oh, hey. Sam, right? <laughs> Congratulations. A freshman getting a supporting role. I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but we normally work off of seniority here. So Miss Johnson really must love you. Must have had a really good audition. What'd you sing? For, for the audition. What <laughs> for the audition, what did you sing? Oh. Astonishing. <laughs> no, we no, we we know the song. We know where it's from. Um <laughs> uh, that's great. I, I bet you did a great job, but you, I mean, you must have, considering that you got a part. I don't know if you know this, but my friend Rachel over there, she was really hoping to get your part, and she's a junior. So, do with that information what you will. <laughs> we're theater kids. We know every lyric to Hamilton, but we're failing history. We're theater kids. We know what slime tutorial really means. We're theater kids. We can't. We have rehearsal. We're theater kids. We're gonna talk backstage. We're theater kids. We audition for sports, not try out. We're theater kids. There's at least five show tunes in our Spotify raft. We're theater kids. We only get four hours of sleep each night. <laughs> Where are you going? We're theater kids. We're gonna sing in the hallway. We're theater kids. We're gonna touch everyone else's props. We're theater kids. We don't leave until like nine o'clock. We're theater kids. We're slowly gonna become like our characters and blame it on method acting. Is he Miss Sally? Okay, I can make this. Let's go, Louise and Sally. I should start talking now. This audience better clap for this final chorus. I hope my dad appreciated that I said his name. Oh crap, crap, crap. Off beat, but I made it work. Yes, applause. Love that. Rep support serve me well, please. Okay, I made it. Now the fun part. I wonder what my parents are thinking, seeing their daughter in jail. It's a miracle I haven't dropped this rope in any run through ever. Pull those pants up for your splits. Yes, I did that. Now time to confess to liposuction. We're theater kids. We never know our choreo. We're theater kids. We smell like hairspray. We're theater kids. Our 100% is someone else's 20. We're theater kids. We never advertise our shows. We're theater kids. We don't actually start our homework until 11.30 at night. We're theater kids. We can sing the entirety of The Witch's Bat from Into the Woods. We're theater kids. We all had a Hamilton phase. Mm -hmm. We're theater kids, and Kurt Harmel is my spirit animal. <laughs> <laughs> We're theater kids. We never listen to the director. <laughs> Downstairs, I'll speak to you each individually and then pass the no. I'll speak to you each individually, and then perhaps you can get some space to calm your nerves. Thank you, Inspector. This is all more than I can bear. I'll return presently. Thank God they've all gone. <laughs> Don't say a word. If they find out about us, we'll be suspect.
throwback to the time I messed up our group number in front of judges at a district competition. What theater kid thing would send a non-theater kid into a coma? Um, like all of Tech Week? The number of cough drops consumed. Spinal injury. Oh, I never mind that. Prop table. Pause. The word sits pro. Crass. Conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> So they're gonna be looking at the spacing because it looks like you guys could actually even get a little closer in. The song's being looped in your head for weeks on end. Rehearsal tracks. I don't know. I need one. What wouldn't they understand about at Tech Week? Because I still don't understand it. The blankets. Y'all wrap yourself up in blankets in house. It's not even cold in here. I don't walk around school with blankets and stuffed animals. We will nip it in the bud. Think of me, think of me fondly when we've said goodbye. To try to find gravity.
Cat, what's your favorite line from the show? Pugsley, would you just go away and die? Tyco, what's your favorite line from the show? Make me feel better, mommy. Caroline, what's your favorite line from the show? Ready to chow down on a grandma sandwich. <laughs> Dean, what's your favorite line in the show? That's my little woman, a duchess in the parlor, a genius in the kitchen, and a gymnast in the bedroom. Kendall, what's your favorite line from the show? We should have put you down years ago. Johnny, what's your favorite line from the show? Am I sexier than Mr. Queen? Henry, what's your favorite line from the show? I did not raise my son to be kidnapped by a bunch of left-wing Spanish weirdos. Gabe, what's your favorite line from the show? Hey, it's the Pugster. What's up, little man? Naya, what's your favorite line from the show? Lactating! Ollie, what's your favorite line from the show? <laughs> Elise, what's your favorite line of someone else's from the show?
Scott, did you see this other lady? I bring a message for her today. I bring Nathan to bring his own messages. Well, what's the message? Where is Nathan? Well, it's this way. Nathan's on in Pittsburgh. I have an audition at 3.45. It's dry today. I was at an audition recently and somebody in line asked me what song I was singing. I'm one of those people that before an audition, I'm okay. I'd actually rather have a conversation um, than be like, please don't talk to me. I'm freaking out. No, talk to me. I'm freaking out. It helps me when you talk to me. So then I asked him what song that he was doing after I told him what song I was doing. And then he told me this was his first audition ever, ever. He showed me his sheet music, which was just a packet of papers piled on top of each other. Not whole punch, not in a binder, just, just loose pieces of paper. All I could hear in my head was all of these theater people that I grew up with who just assumed that everybody in the world knows all the rules of theater, even though everyone has a different educational background. Everyone comes from different walks of life to where you are when you get in line for the audition room. But I wanted to make sure that his first experience at an audition was a pleasant one because I have had some some experiences not recently but if, you know a few years ago where you know people can just be really judgmental of people who don't know what's going on but no how do you know how do you know like you need to meet people who teach you how to do this stuff so we had about two or three people ahead of us before either of us were gonna go in the room so we had a little time to discuss and I explained to him, I'm like, well, welcome to your first audition. You have a great group of people in there. I've auditioned for them before. They're very kind. Like you could not ask for a better first experience auditioning in New York. I then explained to him the concept of a book. I told him at your next audition, I highly recommend you get a binder and you're gonna put your hole punched music into that binder so that the accompanist can flip through it while he's playing for you because it's really hard for him to turn pages when he's trying to accompany you. So then I showed him my book and everyone does their book a little differently, but I like to use a colored table of contents with tabs so that the accompanist or the casting director or whoever else is in the room, if they want to hear more, they can go through your book. I have had people literally take my book, go through my table of contents like I am a jukebox, which you are in an audition, you are a jukebox, you are a glorified jukebox, so play your hits. And they went through my entire binder in front of me, and that's when I also learned that you create an album on your phone of all of your book before every audition just in case they ask you to do a cut from any one of your songs in your book. You should say I want you to start here and I want you to end here. If you want a little bit of music before they start, mark that in the music, go back a bar. Um, if you want to just start on your starting note, ask them to give you the bell tone, which is the first note that you're going to be singing. Usually there will be a mark in the room to clarify where they would like you to stand so go ahead and take a glance at the floor while you're walking in to see if there's a spot marked if not they'll either tell you where to stand or you know if there's a table stand it back don't let them know what you had for breakfast so that's the story so if you have any other questions about auditioning everyone comes from different areas of life everyone has different backgrounds of where they're where they're starting where they're at when you get to the room with other people please like ask questions. I know there's there's a lot of things that as somebody in the theater community, we just assume that everybody knows because it's been in our blood since we were six, but it's, it's not common knowledge. I should be better about posting more videos like this. And please, if you have any questions, please let me know. All right, I gotta go catch a train for an audition. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day, everyone. Ah! Are you the puberty fairy? The fuck did you just call me? The puberty fairy? Puberty fairy? I'm the hormone monster.